Hey guys, Phil here for Hike Slam. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be talking about a specific trail or skill or even just reviewing a piece of gear. Well, I kind of am, but it's more like a story about this jacket. Uh, this is my Mountain Hardware Escape Jacket, and I love this. I've had this jacket for like 10 years almost. I bought it at Eastern Mountain Sportswear. I'm originally from on Cape Cod. The original retail price was $275, but I got it for like $125 or something on a discount rack. And I just love it. It's not really insulated, but it is like lined. So it keeps you a little bit warmer. It's got this like big hood, nice brim that comes over. Um, it's got like, when you zip it up, it has this flap that goes over the zipper. Gives you a little bit extra weather protection, which is awesome. Um, I just really love this jacket. It um, held up all the way through the Appalachian Trail, the Oregon Coast Trail, a bunch of other hikes I've done, and it's just incredible. I really love it. The problem is, in the last couple years, um, the wrists here, where um, the Velcro is supposed to have these like little adjustable sections, have started to come apart, and they actually started to shred the jacket right here on where the wrist is and it pulled the Velcro out from underneath. So these are like unusable now. So um, it's a shame too, because this is like a really nice Gore-Tex rain jacket, all weather shell. It's like my armor. When I put it on, I feel like, all right, I can take care of anything. It's awesome. Like you can go through brush and briars and it doesn't tear. Um, it's just a great jacket. So the fact that these wrist parts are the only things that is preventing me from using it to its full capacity is kind of a bummer because I really like it. So I thought about maybe taking them and sewing them down, but then they're not really adjustable anymore and you can't get that tight, you know, grip on your wrists if you're in like super wet or cold weather. So um, when I was hanging out with my friend Mike last week up in Portland and we were filming the last video we did uh, for Hike Slam, which was the SOL emergency blanket review. Dramatization may not have happened. He actually suggested, he's like, hey, Mountain Hardware has a great warranty. Why don't you see if you can go on their website and look up, see if you can send it back, and maybe they can replace it. I doubt they can repair it at this point because um, it's pretty shredded. and I'm not, really sh I'm not really sure how you would repair it, but um, a lot of these big companies do have amazing warranties. I know Merrill did, po possibly still does. They make a great product, and they have like a full replacement warranty. New Balance... Um, when I was hiking on the Appalachian Trail, New Balance replaced my boots that started to come apart. The soles started to come apart, so they just sent me new ones, which is awesome. So hopefully they can do something where maybe they can give me some kind of discount coupon, um, maybe some kind of voucher, or possibly you know send me another rain jacket. I know they don't make this one anymore because I've looked on their website. I was actually looking to just you know buy another one. Two hundred seventy-five dollars is a steep price, but. For a jacket like this, I would totally be willing to pay it. This is kind of a two-part video, because today I'm going to be um, packing this up in an envelope. I issued a warranty claim at Mountain Hardware, so I'll be sending it to them. Uh, they can make their assessment based on what's happened to the jacket and see if they want to reimburse me or possibly send me another jacket, send me a voucher, send me a coupon, or if they can repair it, that would be amazing too. I would totally take that. I just don't really see how that's possible. So on the Mountain Hardware website, it said it could take two to four weeks to process the warranty claim. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you slam that subscribe button and check back for part two, and um, we'll all see what happens, because I'm not really sure either. 